So, okay, uh, I got specifications open. I'm gonna go over that. Uh, I have a, a sample uh, contract, the CCDC due contract. Uh, I got general conditions out, and I have uh, a very simple drawing that we're just. I'm just gonna um, go over and show you guys the basics. And if you get like seriously, if you have any questions, let me know. Yeah, I'll show you kind of like the first thing you want to look at at the drawings and and whatnot, and I'll take you through it. So when you get uh, when you when you get a set of uh, like a bid package, it comes like. Um, uh, with specifications and drawings and like any any like um, addendum is another one and the, the there might be more like different depending on your trade there could be other information attached to it like a geo report it's important to understand these are these are standard divisions across the industry and basically our, our our trades are broken down into divisions each one of these divisions has a bunch of sub subsections in it right so you'll see them division zero 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 okay but with numbers um division one is always for uh the general requirements, the uh, division zero secret um, uh, procurement and contracting requirements. Those are the two things you you want to read first. Okay, when you get uh, when you get a bid package with the specifications, you'll you'll have um, architectural drawings, structural drawings, electrical, mechanical drawings. Uh, but uh, most of us are working, unless you're an electrician or somebody like in a mechanical or, or, or like an iron worker, iron worker will have the structural, uh, but most of us work under the architectural drawings. But we wanna read these two divisions out of the specifications. Now the specifications may be, it might be actually on the drawings as well, okay? Which in this set of drawings I have, uh, they are. Now, steel stud drywall, we work under division seven, okay, thermal and moisture protection, and division five, which is metals. It's good to know other divisions that are related to you, okay, because um, it just gives you further information on how to, like, to, to properly do stuff and set set the other trades up for uh, success, right? It's good to obviously work together. So CCDC2, this is the contract it, 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 sample. This is a standard, uh, standard contract. Uh, that it, like basically all contracts should look something like this, okay? And you can see here, so GC, general conditions, okay? And you see GC, those are all the general conditions. And uh, so yeah, you can um, uh, modify and, and add, like added supplemental conditions and things like that to this, so, but it's good to know all the possible uh, conditions that you can put in. Uh, or what to watch for, okay, to make sure they take out. Um, and uh, when it comes to pay, okay, the, the payment part is definitely the most important. Uh, you want to make sure that, um, see the dispute resolution here? This is a, this is a big one too, because you want to make sure that it doesn't go automatically to arbitration uh, or, or mediation, okay? You want to be able to sue them, okay? Um, but some contracts um, forbid you from suing them, okay? It, it has to be solved through arbitration. So you got to watch out for that. Um, bigger, big contractors will, will put that in there. Uh, but most of us, we definitely don't want that condition in our contract. Anyway, so simple drawing right here. Uh, the cover sheet is um, obviously the first page you're going to see. It's going to give you a table, sorry, of contents, right? The architectural drawings will be will be labeled A, okay? Always A. Uh, structural S, uh, uh, electrical E, mechanical M, right? You get that. So under architectural, what we what we want to do is first thing find if we're in steel stud and drywall, okay. Uh, no matter what trade you're in, but uh, you want to find your scope of work. You're going to find that for our trade in the uh, wall types, okay? The wall types in the ceiling types in the parapet types, uh, that page, the wall type page. So you look here, okay? A001 is the site location plan, demolition plans, floor plans, enlarged stair plans, stair sections and details, and then we have an enlarged lift plans. What we wanna do then is go check the floor plans. Um, we're gonna look here, this could give you site information like the address and whatnot, uh, information to um, like, here's your, your builder and your designer, uh, the legal, legal site 
uh, like the legal location of the site is always on the drawings here, and that's that is what you need to put any like liens on the property if they don't pay you and stuff. Okay, that's the information you're gonna need is always on this bottom right hand corner of the drawing. Okay, Just so when you see this big A zero zero one that's the the page okay that is your architectural 001 that's the page you'll see bubbles and detailed bullets and things like that in here that will reference you to other pages okay so uh we'll get we'll show you that too um so nothing really interesting in the site plan then you go here and you got demolition uh general notes you have symbols leg legend there uh, let's zoom in because this is now when you start getting into the actual specifications. Okay, they're not they're not laid out in divisions, but they are relevant. These are your instructions right here. Your demolition general notes and your general notes. You want to read all of these. Whether you're doing the demo or not. Okay, because these are general conditions basically that could apply to you, um, and they and they might not. They might, but you also need to know what is expected of the demo crew in this case or the trades ahead of you before you accept the space to work in okay you need to make sure that the previous trades uh, are have completed their work before you start otherwise you might inherit their work okay so you want to be careful of that uh, it's good to read it all. Now we're getting into more uh, like uh, like steel stud and drywall. First thing you, you want to do, right, guys, is we want to get all the information, what is required of us, okay? We don't just start, we can look, you can look at the drawings to kind of get an idea of the, the project, but you're really not going to know what's in them until you start reading and then, and then highlighting your scope of work. So you read the keynotes, anything that pertains to you and your trade, you highlight it. Let's see here, what do we got here? Yeah, okay, so install new partition, so you know already that, you gotta look at that, cause that's that's you. Highlight everything that that is part of your scope of work. If you look down here, floor types, so the flooring, if we're not doing floor, that's no big deal, but uh, like we're not gonna, we don't really, the only thing that we really care is if it's uh, metal or not, um, not metal, but concrete or wood or something, because then we then it'll tell us what fasteners are we're using in those areas. Or so concrete, you're gonna use shots and and uh, smack pins. If it's uh, wood, or you're gonna just screw it down. Sometimes there's just Q deck guys with, without anything in it, like especially when you're doing parapets, right? So that's actually metal, okay? The metal Q deck. Um, and so that's important to know too, because that's a different kind of fastener than the concrete and the wood. So then the partition types, here we go. Okay, and doors, we're, we're, we're gonna be installing the door frame, like the, the, the frames and the window frames if they're, if they're uh, fire rated, right? But yeah, you'll see right here, one hour fire rated wall assembly. This is, this is our wall types here. Uh, when I first started estimating, what I did was I, I used to draw these systems, okay? Like you see them, th this is nice, they're drawn here, not just not very clear. I used to literally just draw the systems out and uh, like, you know, the layer drywall, uh, steel stud, or sometimes it's um, uh, got membrane and cladding and, and other parts to it as well, especially if it's an exterior wall. Basically, yeah, here we go, one hour, so 5 eighths type X, three and 5 eighths metal stud framing at 16 inch on center. So if it doesn't tell you here, okay, if it doesn't give you any any um, designation, if it's two foot, one foot, or 16 inch on center, uh, you want to go look on the in the specifications, okay, and make sure if it, it might say in the specifications you want, they want it, and it, but it, if it's in the specs, it's probably going to be in, uh, metric, so uh, it'll be what's uh, four four ten on center or something like that, or twenty four hundred on center is two foot, six hundred on center is one foot, right? Or wait, I forget now, but, but you you can do the you can convert it yourself. It's not a big, it's not like that hard really. It's been a while. Jeez, I, sh I used to know all that off my heart. If you can't find that information in the in the drawings or the specifications, automatically assume 16 inch on center. That's the standard, okay? Um, but then you go here, okay? So you're gonna highlight these. I usually highlight them a different color, each each wall type. And so if you want it to look, like, they're, they're, like there's usually other parts to these drawings, but like ceiling plan, there's a ceiling plan, re, or reflected ceiling plan as well, uh, which is where you go to get your ceiling type. So any T-bar, uh, bulkheads, drop ceilings, drywall drop ceilings, 
will be on that. And you also get your your uh, your elevations from your reflected ceiling plans. Okay, so you have to use the floor plans and the reflected ceiling plan together to get your elevations. Okay, so the, your, your floor plan will give you your area, but your uh, ceiling plan is going to give you your height. Keep in mind, okay, there will be cut throughs as well because um, some some walls are going to be the underside of structure. Okay, and that's going to be specified in the specs. Uh, most likely in the specs, okay, that part, right? Uh, and that would be like demising walls and uh, anything load bearing will be um, to underside a structure, which is like to, you know, floor to floor, right? Under like I-beam is structural, any kind of structural steel or concrete, you know, like or even straight to the Q-deck is also considered underside a structure. But yeah, you can see here, basically on this this job right here, we're focusing on the, the these two stairwells. This is, these are the job we just did, guys. So if you um, are curious, you can go back to my last five live streams. It covered all of this, uh, build live from site.